so now that you've been through the basic steps of a ratio problem and you've mastered the basic ratio drill, we're moving on into intermediate ratios, which we can also refer to as combined ratios. And combined ratios, basically, they're the same exact process as a basic ratio, except they're asking us about the total in some point of the question rather than the two parts. So let's just move right into an example and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this example says, if there are two brownies for every three blondies in a certain dessert tray that only contains brownies and blondies, and there are a total of 30 desserts in the tray, how many blondies are there? So basically, we have to pause a little because there's a lot of information here. And they're telling us that there's two brownies for every three blondies in this dessert tray. Then they're telling us that if there are a total of 30 desserts, how many blondies are there? So we want to know how many blondies when we have 30 desserts. So if we think back to that original ratio that we have, it doesn't mention dessert anywhere. It just talks about brownies and then blondies. So we have to do one step before we can actually get to our ratio problem. And that is combining the two parts. So in this basic relationship here, if there's two brownies and three blondies in a dessert tray that only has brownies and blondies, that means that in this tray, there's a total of five desserts. So when they're asking us how many blondies there are when we have 30 desserts, we can use the ratio that when we have three blondies, there are five desserts. So that's how we combine the two parts to give us the total when a question asks us about the relationship of a part to the whole. So then, once we have that, we check our units, and we have blondies on the top and desserts on the bottom, so we're good to go, and we can cross-multiply. And if we cross-multiply, we get 5 times x, which is 5x, and then we get 3 times 30, which is 90. So now we divide both sides by 5, and we get x equals 18. So hopefully that makes sense to you. So now what I want you to do is go ahead and try the intermediate ratio drill to see if you can apply the combined ratio concept to those questions.